Hey RVers and future RVers, it's Mikey B at Beckley's RVs coming with you with this big beauty behind me. All new for the 2025 model year is this Grand Design Solid 2 390 RK and it has some really cool features. Make sure you stay tuned uh, for the inside. Got a little hiding space uh, features that we gotta point out. Again, I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Let's get into this. Some of the exterior features on this Solitude 390 RK starts with your patio. It has a patio patio time that you will never forget. We've got a big power awning above us with push of a button, two Rockford uh, Fosgate speakers. Man, we can blare, blare our tunes and piss off the neighbors. I'm kidding, no. Quiet, uh, quiet hours, please respect them. And if, you, if that's not enough for patio patio time, you have a huge amount of storage. Wait till you see it to the end. We're gonna be able to get our uh, grills, our patio furniture, all kinds of big items in this huge compartment area. And cleanup time is really essential. You'll see when we get inside, but they have a central vac system that you can hook up here, hook up inside, an easy uh, cleanup for that Sunday afternoon. Of course, uh, entrance coming up in, into the doorway. We have a nice set of steps here that makes uh, getting in and out really safe and easy. And I told you about storage. This thing has the most amount of storage that I have seen in a fifth wheel. When you get into the inside, the rear kitchen is elevated, which give, has given Grand Design the space to be able to give us all kinds of amount of storage. On the door side, you're going to have these two compartment doors that you can uh, stow some things as well as a long pass-through. On the other side, you have the um, mirrored image, basically two other compartment doors that you can access that side along with the power uh, hose reel that uh, makes cleanup on, on that really easy. But if you have something really tall, maybe something bulky that you want to stow, This is the ticket, man. You have a huge door, huge depth, and goes way back in there. And in case you're wondering, how am I gonna get that stuff? Maybe send in the kid or the grandkid? Nah, we'll save them for something else. You have this huge compartment storage tray that you can obviously see slide out and get to the, some of those items that might be towards the rear of that area. So again, capacity wise, it's here. The storage uh, square footage is definitely here. And while we're back here, a couple things to note. If you're worried about towing a big 40 foot fifth wheel and you don't have a backup buddy, at the top, they've pre-wired a backup camera that you can easily link to a screen in, um, uh, to your driver's seat. So that way, when you're backing up into those areas, you can safely see your surroundings. Towing wise, we do have a receiver here. Uh, I shouldn't say towing, but you can put maybe like a, um, a cargo, uh, cart or bikes, things like that, as well as a four-way flat. So that way, essentially safety-wise, you can hook up uh, uh, lighting just in case you're, you're worried about those uh, highway drivers uh, tailgating you. We do have a exterior ladder that goes up on the roof, which is really important. You definitely need to check your uh, sealants up there, check your plastic components. And of course, you have a solar panel up there that's giving us trickle charge. So just do your routine maintenance, use this. And as I mentioned, two more compartment doors on this side. And I want to point out again, the, the, the water hose reel really makes uh, winding that up uh, essentially uh, easy, just like at home. Let's get up to the utility compartment. You guys all know Grand Design. They have a stellar, um, uh, engineering when they uh, <laughs> make these floor plans. They have everything here. Everything's color coded, labeled at your fingertips. So whether you're uh, just hooking up at a campground, you need to fill your tank, or it comes to the end of the season, you need to winterize. Everything here is centrally located to make that job a lot easier. So some of the quick exterior features, again, on this all new 2025 Grand Design Solitude 390 RK. 
All right, we're inside the all new 2025 Grand Design Solitude 390 RK. This big beauty is awesome on the inside. We've got a five slide floor plan and each, as we go through the video, take, a, uh, take notice of each room is somewhat divided. It really gives us a, a awesome home feel while we're on the road. Starting in the living room, off to my left here, we have one big slide out with a sofa and it does turn into a bed. So if you have some overnight guests, uh, you'll be able to sleep them there. It pulls out. We'll show you on the on the next one. But to my right here, we have a nice entertainment wall. It's really cool. We've got, of course, electric fireplace where you can just throw some lights on and give that uh, sweet ambiance at night, maybe a little wine time and movie time. Uh, of course, uh, uh, this opens up to throw a bunch of your uh, mobile devices, remotes and things like that. But they've even taken it to the next level. This slides out as a tray and you have charging ports here, both 12 volt and 110. So more importantly, we can um, charge all those devices and kind of get them up out of the way. And of course your big screen TV overhead just to finish off this whole nice entertainment wall. All right, and then opposite as of the other sofa, again, we have a slide out here with a sofa bed. Uh, so man, you're sitting two, four, and then you'll see here in a second theater seating that's opposite of the TV, you could sleep six. You really have a nice uh, Sunday afternoon kind of catch up on your uh, football uh, in the fall season, maybe baseball in the spring, or more importantly, have an awesome movie night. But let's go ahead and set this into a bed real quick so you can see how easy it is. Hello, fight! <laughs> All right, now I'm 6'1", so I've got plenty of space. Pillows at the head here. My feet are right at the end. And as you can see, definitely we've got the width for two adults. So when you get that other one uh, opened up, it is going to uh, limit a little bit of a walkthrough from say, kitchen to the bathroom or upstairs. But again, we're gonna be able to sleep four adul uh, adults easily here in the living room. All right, and then up, uh, above the sofa on, uh, on this one here, we have tall cabinets that we can stow a lot of gear here, especially if you have overnight guests, great place for them to put some of their, um, their clothing and such. All right, then we, I was saying we have theater seating. I don't have it plugged in. You could probably see no lights, uh, shame on us. But anyway, we have theater seating here right at um, opposite of the TV, which makes the viewing angle really awesome to be able to catch whatever you, you want with cup holders, and again, a 12 volt uh, charging area. I don't know about you, but this is what I love about the floor plan. We have a rear kitchen set up here that's elevated. So it's really cool. You Again, you've got the TV going, you've got some uh, news to catch up on, making breakfast, making dinner, we can have that going. But it just feels like a home kitchen with the two opposing slides here and it's a really cool overlook of our living area. But let's get into some of this stuff here. We have a lot of storage in this kitchen. We're gonna have a lot of uh, uppers that have some tall areas for storage. Some of the lowers, we have integrated sh uh, drawers that we can pull out, throw our utensils, canned goods, things like that. Even taking up a little bit of area next to the stove, and the oven here, again, for pots and pans, cookie sheets, things like that. Really done a great design on, on this kitchen. We have a four burner stove top and a huge oven. So this definitely will be something like home. You know RVs, they always skimp on small, small ovens or even a, maybe two burners. Here we could get a big uh, meal going. If you're gonna be doing some cooking, you gotta have a place to store all that produce and such. Well, awesome 12 volt two, um, refrigerator here, two door with a large uh, freezer chest drawer here as well that you can stow all your frozen items really nicely. Back here on the back wall, we have of course our kitchen with tons of storage, trash can space some uppers above there, little window even, if in case you're, you're doing some dishes and you wanna just catch up on the neighbors. 
And this sink here this year is awesome. We have, of course, our cutting board. We have a, a strainer. We have even a little pull-out pan that we can use. Dish soap, a glass cleaner, and of course your swan neck that pulls out uh, as a sprayer nozzle as well. Over here to your left, again, you have storage, tons of counter space, lots of storage below that. And just for those quick reheats or popcorn, you can, you've got your microwave. And they've even recessed a couple outlets on these counters, which is really cool. If you don't need them, that way they're out of the way, not interfering. But over here on the island, you have another one too. You have what, two 12 volt and two 110 outlets. That is really killer to be able to put all your appliances and get, uh, get some big meals going in this. Back here, we do have some storage at the island with a big drawer. But of course, you guys know Grand Design if you've been watching it for a while. We can't leave out our furry four-legged friends. You got your water and uh, food bowl that's uh, on a nice drawer glide. So if you got any of the big, big dogs, you're not worried about them breaking anything up. And lastly, this awesome two person high top table, obviously great for meals, but they have um, cut out some uh, area here to run your cords. So if you're working from home, working remotely, this is a great station, nice uh, backrest to keep me upright and just plug away at that laptop. All right. There you go, there's two rooms so far. Let's get upstairs on the other side. And as I was mentioning, central vacuum. We have a port here that you can hook up your hose and at the entertainment uh, foot here, that black eyed uh, component there, that's actually a really cool sweeper that you can open up and it, it, it turns on the central vac and just sweep all that floor uh, stuff up into that component. All right, now this bathroom is killer. Nothing short of being large in this whole floor plan. We have a double bowl um, uh, vanity set here with cabinetry on both sides, big mirror, plenty of storage below for all our items and toiletries. And what I thought was really cool, it's the first time seeing it, even have electric outlets in the top drawer with uh, nice stainless steel cups for like your power toothbrush or whatever. And Grand Design doesn't stop with anything big. Man, check out this huge shower. We've got plenty of elbow space both ways. And again, I'm 6'1". They've recessed the shower a little bit in the floor and then added that bubble at the top to really give you a, a, some awesome head height. We've got what? One, two, three shower sp um, sprays, sprayer nozzles here is along with the handheld. So. Man, again, like home, we've got our waterfall, we've got a sprayer, man, I, this is an awesome shower. All right, let's, last but not least, let's get into this bedroom. Again, deep slide, big king bed. This is, bedroom is huge. We have windows everywhere that we can open up, get some nice natural light. Of course, you, you got your blinds for at night for privacy. And Grand Design is just innovative. They have some great uh, use of storage here that's a little shallow, so maybe some of your small items. But underneath, they've still integrated the drawers. So definitely taking use of any little space. And then for those that may be using a CPAP machine or just want an extra um, kind of nightstand, if you will, we can swing that out and set our mobile devices or a CPAP machine. And then of course, tuck it away out of the way when you don't need it. Pretty, pretty genius. At the foot of the bed is your dresser. You have a six drawer dresser, again, with a, a cool little hide hideaway spot. Maybe throw your wallets and your jewelry and such in here. Just keep out of, out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. We do have our TV at the foot of the bed as well. A, a great viewing angle and catch on those late night TV shows. You do have storage here along with, um, with some shelves and a closet pole, but it does, um, if you choose, you can do a washer and dryer. You can do a compact or a stackable. Definitely gotta go with stackable. The capacity is night and day between that and a compact. And lastly, really nice kind of walk-in closet here. We have shelving. We have, of course, a closet pole. And my favorite, nice little hamper for all the dirty, smelly clothes that we gotta catch up on when we get back home. 
So there you have it, all the cool features of this floor plan. Again, a 40 foot floor plan with five slides and two elevated areas. It's a doozy. It's a big, uh, awesome floor plan to get for all new for 2025. It's a grand design, uh, solid to 390RK. <laughs> Time's up. All right, so this, uh, again, this floor plan, the 390RK, 40 foot uh, floor plan, it's 42 feet total length, five slides. The way it's sitting here equipped is about 14,500 pounds. It grosses at 18,000. I say that for two reasons. One, you're gonna be able to put almost 3,500 pounds of stuff in this thing before you max it out. But more importantly, you need a big truck. You need a 110, ideally perhaps, uh, even maybe a dually just to hand handle some of that uh, cross load as you get into some windy situations or, or uh, windy roads. But you have plenty of capacity for water as well. I think it's like, um, like almost 80 gallons of fresh water, over 100 gallons of gray water and like 50 couple on your black. So if you're full time in it, this is definitely a floor plan to consider because again, it has the capacity for uh, for the, for all your water, it has the capacity for all your gear. You can you have three air conditioners. It's a 50 amp service. You can even add a generator. It's got solar panel. Blah blah blah. It, this thing is a big beast on purpose because it's meant to have a uh, full time full time RVer take it out camping. So again, all new for 2025, the Grand Design Solitude 390RK. Did you like it? If you did, give us a thumbs up. Comment below on your first impressions or maybe any specific questions that we can try to answer for you. And show some love, everybody. Smash that subscribe button. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. We'll see you at the campsites.